Well, well, I had an inkling and it didn't disappoint me. It was a long voyage to this cesspit, but it's about to make sense. Voltest's killer, live and in person. Can't complain. I am delighted, really. But you see, it's a long way back to Vesima, and I'd rather not dawdle. I lost a load of time looking for you. No reason to waste any more talking, then. Listen, Jester. You're worth more to me alive, but if need... All right. Drop your sword and put your hands together. Or... Shut up. Go. We've got a wanted man here. Uh... Grab him, boys. <laughs> I tell him, I'm taking your pal, or your pouch and your life. What did he say? He said, there's a third option, in his hand. What? The Commandant wanted to see me. Leave your weapon here. Guard it with care. You're going inside or not? Listen, friend, I'm an officer and you're a runt. And when I say jump, you will not only... Come on, Roach. These cunts Laredo couldn't protect the port from a drunk lumberjack, let alone Yorbeth. He's succeeded so far, Roach. The port is rotting away. A ballista! The bastard's got a ballista. You know the power of this weapon. Mm. Its arms strengthened with bronze plates and strung with horsehair. It can propel heavy bolts up to a mile away. Yeah, an experienced crew can release two bolts each minute, but it can't hit the same spot twice because it recoils and shifts. I've heard that somewhere before. Where did you learn about Ballista? I knew someone who knew a bit about them. Unimportant. We need to damage it if we don't want to be at Laredo's mercy. They're all drunk here now. I'll provoke the guard. Relax, Roach. I don't want to fight this rabble again. As long as that weapon's operational, no one will sail this section of the Pontar without Laredo's express permission. I'll handle this. Go have a drink. Don't you traipse around here. Haven't had this good a time in ages. Don't you traipse around here. You know this one. A little elf was skipping down the path. Plow all, plow them all. And along came a dwarf man, kicked him in the arse. Plow them all, plow them all. Oh, you are a fat, dirty, rotten scum. Plow them all, plow them all. Like Do that again, and I'll fuck you, ma'am. You've had your song. Care for some wind? Sniffing around like dogs in a room. I don't like they say what you want, old man. I was looking to test my strength. Arm wrestling. And what do I stand to gain? Nothing. Because I'll thrash you. And if I win? You'll have beat a witcher. So I guess that gets you bragging rights. Are you that good old fella? The Grey Wolf? Mm-hmm. All right. Let's begin. Nothing better than a fireside feast. <laughs> <laughs> Except a fireside feast with copious amounts of liquor. <laughs> Add flour into the mix and it doesn't get any better. Luckily, the Commandant's provided it all. True. <laughs> Come here, lad. <laughs> Your uncle's got a story for you. So long as he can afford- Hey! You're a- I'll not lend an ear. What you want? I was looking for- Let's do- <laughs> Nothing better than a fireside feast. <laughs> Except a fireside feast with copious amounts of liquor. <laughs> Add flour into the mix and it doesn't get any better. Luckily, the Commandant- Damn the dogs! The old man got me! 
I need to eat. Build up a bit. True. <laughs> Come here, lass. Your uncle's got a story for you. So Do long as he can afford to Don't you it. traipse around here. An ear for less than ten orans. Haven't had this good a time in ages. That's true. You know this one. Tend to the ballista, Geralt. Greetings. What do you need, ugly? I wanted to surprise my friend, the sad-looking guy by the ballista. Some idiot wanted me to read him poems recently. Extravagance, as I see it, I didn't like it. I was thinking of something a little more traditional. What would you have me do? Just go with your specialty. All right. It'll be my standard rate. Draw him away from the ballista while you're at it. Slap me hard and call me stupid. Trying to put one by me? That'll cost you more. How's that? Surcharge on special requests. Those are the rules. Let me think it over. Ugly. Well, you ain't exactly handsome. But? I wouldn't worry. Women prefer ugly men to groomed dandies. And you're ugly something mighty. Care for a romp? Can't just now, but I'll find you later in town. What's your name? Margarita. A favor for a favor? There is one thing you could do for me. And that is? Myron and Alphonse, two of Laredo's thugs. Give him a good thrashing, and I'll even blow... I stirred up enough trouble as it is during the execution. No need to stir trouble. Just humiliate them some ways. Consider it done. Myron and Alphonse. Teach them a lesson yet? Not just yet. You've had your song. Care for some real diversion? That one struts about as if he were the king himself. Did you hear? Two big shots arrived. Wonder what they want. I don't like. F and I don't like oafish no neck. What do you want? Mute. To, to try my luck. I'm gonna crush you. you Save the boasting till late. That's true. You know this one. <laughs> A little elf was skipping down the path. Plow them all, plow them all. An old man was all bad, kicked him in the arse. Plow them all, plow them all. Oh, you are fuck dirty rotten scum. Plow them all, plow them all. Do that again. Fuck you, ma'am. Plow them! I hate mutants like you. I know, I know. You've had your song. Care for some real diversion? Hmm? Myron and Alphonse. Teach them a lesson yet? Of course. All right. I'm off to give the boy some diversion. Haven't had this good a time in ages. That's true. You know this one. I'm on duty. Oh, come on. Your comrades are well at it having their fun. Why should you be any worse? You've had your song. Let's go. Care for some real diversion. Laredo's busy with that witch Sheila. Come back later. Geralt, let's wait downstairs in the yard. Luckily, the commandant's provided it all. True. <laughs> Come here, lad. So long as he can afford to tell it, I'll not lend an ear for less than ten orans. Yes. Do we wait until the Honorable Lady is done with the Venerable Hick? Waste of time. Looks like a good number of Flotsam's town watchmen are here. We should look around. 
Did you see that arbalist behind the house? I'll get his attention. Give him something to think about. Why don't you find out what they're guarding so closely? My apologies, gentlemen. I could not help overhearing your conversation. What do you want? In point of fact, it's a matter for the Witcher. I have an offer. An offer? Interesting. I suspect you did not come to Flotsam for pleasure alone. You suspect right. Do you know about the monster in the river? Might have heard something. I expect someone will hire you to deal with it sooner or later. Thus, I presume that... Stop presuming, expecting, and concluding. Just tell me what you want. Our honored host is in possession of part of a trap, built especially for the beast in question. Go on. Around back, there's a storage area where Laredo keeps the treasures he confiscates from merchants and travelers. There are heaps of things out there. Let me guess. You know exactly where I need to look. Precisely. I saw Laredo's men carrying the contraption across the garden in a crate. They placed it on a platform by the wall, beyond which lies the craftsman's district. Why are you telling me? Why? We need to be rid of the beast as soon as possible. Good luck. All right. I'll distract the guard. You sneak behind the house. Brilliant as ever. Soldier, report to me immediately. Did you hear? Two big shots arrived. Wonder what they want. What do you want? Shut it, soldier. Have respect for your superiors or spend the rest of your life. Flotsam. I was looking for... You're lucky the Commandant won't... Commandant, sir. We caught the Witcher sneaking around the garden. Bring him in and leave. Yes, sir. We were just discussing a certain matter. You here on business, too? The Commandant wanted to see me. In that case, I shall leave you to it. Finally. They didn't want to let me in while the Sorceress was here. Did you see her? Made up like a whore on parade day. They think they can do anything, those Sorceresses. I heard what happened in Tamaria. You know your name's on a warrant. It's unfortunate, though nothing that should impede our dealings. See, I'm the law around here, and the law needs to know what the legendary White Wolf's doing in this cesspit. I'm looking for the man responsible for Foltest's death. Here? I know the Scoyatel had a hand in it too. It's their trail I followed to Flotsam. Lucky you found Bernard Laredo then. You're telling the truth. Your vet's got raw blood on his hands. I can help you find him. What about Vernon Roach? Why didn't you let him in? Roach? Know the aura that surrounds him? Men like him act first and think later. And when they act, almost inevitably innocent blood flows. I trust you're on our side. Whose side is that? That of the people of Flotsam, of course terrorized by the elven bandits for years now. There was a time those forests belonged to the elves. To them, humans are bandits. Spare me your sympathy. The elder races, the elder language, plow it all! Today they torch human settlements, they poison our wells, and they murder us along the highways. You fail to understand. It's you who doesn't understand, Lorido. To tell you the truth, I'm not human. You an elf? A dwarf? No, I'm talking bollocks. I piss on the fact that they call you freak for your white hair and glowing eyes. You're a human like any other. We're fighting a war. And you, my friend, cannot straddle the fence. What about the elves and dwarves in the trading post? The smiths, peddlers, and hunters? They eat with you, sleep among you. Whose side are they on? Hell if I know. That's my point, Witcher. When you fight for survival, you need to be sure who your friends are. The non-humans in Flotsam, sure, they eat, fuck, shit among us. But when Yorveth sounds the battle horns, who knows what they'll do. I'm surprised they haven't turned on you already. How so? The town guards treat non-humans like shit. 
frankly, I don't know what keeps them here. I'll tell you what, Geralt. The hunger they face in the forest. But I grant you, those acts of uh, insubordination need to be stopped. Soldiers are simple men. When you see your mate die, a scoyatel arrow in his throat, it's hard to look favorable at the elf who sells your wife colored kerchiefs. You're a witcher. Your job is to protect the simpletons from monsters. I protect them from the danger that lurks amongst the trees. I see where this is going. Yorvik's no better than a monster that attacks those who go out to gather kindling. Matter of fact, he's worse. He's smarter and crueler. How do we get him? I don't want you to kill him. Even you don't have a hope against his entire force. I have an idea, but I'd rather not go into it now. The squirrels are up to something. Every night their scouts come closer. I suspect they plan to attack the barge moored in the port. What do you want me to do? As long as Yorveth remains free, humans, elves, and dwarves will live alongside each other in deep distrust. I've got to learn what the pointy-eared rat is planning. How am I supposed to get that information? <laughs> you underestimate me, Witcher. True, I have my prejudices, but I'm not blinded by them. Take your friend Zoltan, for instance. He contacted Yorveth. How can Zoltan help if he can't go outside the walls? <laughs> step by step, Geralt. That's how you build trust. You could start by tending to a problem we have. A beast. The Kairin has blocked all boat traffic. I'm losing tolls. Uh, that is, um, the trading post is losing revenue. Kill the Kairin and I'll declare your friends acquitted of their crimes. Then Zoltan can take you to see Yorveth. I'm a witcher. I don't work for free. Of course you don't. Help us capture the Scoyatel commander, and you'll be rewarded generously. Straight from the trading post's treasury. I'll see what I can find out. Oh, you stir up storms wherever you go. I actually believe you'll bring peace to Flotsam. Don't disappoint this town, Geralt. Farewell. Passage. Plowing squirrels. I'd put him in their place. Good old talk. No pa We're too soft on them, that's the problem. Soldiers are bored. The garrison's thinning. <laughs> now you're talking. We don't need to look for the squirrels. Turned me away at the door, the bastard. We'll meet later. Don't forget your weapons on the way out. <laughs> 